do 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 I, I, thought, I think that was a good impression, wasn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Uh, as you may have guessed from that little uh, snippet of the uh, of the intro there, um, today's park is Game of Thrones. Uh, this was created by Anthony Duhigg, uh, and the, uh, the description of this port simply says, When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or your console dies. There is no middle ground. Uh, a quote by Cersei, somewhere, probably. Um, so yeah, really, really, really looking forward to this part. As you can see from these uh, from these little snippets, um, this is an absolute mega park. There is so much detail on this. Um, this is going to be such a good part to go on experience. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below and potentially joining the uh, Discord so that you can request your own spotlight of your creation. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's let's begin looking around the Game of Thrones park. Winter is coming. Here we are at the at the start of the Game of Thrones park. Now, I feel like this is the perfect time to uh, to put a bit of a disclaimer out there. Um, I've only seen the odd scene from Game of Thrones. I've not actually watched the series. Um, so, <laughs> with that in mind, uh, there may be one or two references that... Um, that I may not pick up. I get. I know the winter is coming, Jon Snow um, thing, but there's one or two references that I that I may not pick up. Um, however, this park is far too good, far too detailed, and just far too crazy to not take a look at. Um, so uh, yeah, just with that with that in mind, um, please don't judge me if I uh, if I do miss. Uh, the odd thing, uh, but please do let me know in the comments down below if I do uh, if I do miss something. Um, Chrissy A, Chrissy B, Chrissy C, and Chrissy D. Uh, you, now, now you see, this is uh, th th this is kind of what I'm talking about. So I, I don't get that reference. Uh, <laughs> however, please do explain it down below. Uh, but generally, I mean, around, around the car the car park itself is. Uh, is very nicely done. Um, I like the uh, I like the trees. I love this fencing. Really, really nice uh, use of that piece. Um, I love is this is this like a little bus stop? A bus stop? Oh, yep, it is. Uh, I didn't look around there. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, yeah, really nice. Um, really nice car park there. Uh, really nice uh, sort of trees. Uh, let's head back down there. There's buses again. Uh, so head back through this tunnel. Uh, so here we have Mums of Dragons. <laughs> I know, I know. Obviously, the dragons involved in uh, in Game of Thrones. Look, the queue line's very nice. I like that. That's a nice rope fence. Uh, I'm not going to read some things out just because uh, I don't want the video to get censored or anything. Because I don't quite, uh, I don't quite trust uh, using language yet on YouTube. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll let. Uh, <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll breeze past that. Uh, I'm sure people can read if they want to. Uh, parking zone this way. So this is another parking area. Drop off and parking. Very nice. More of the uh, more of the Chrissy references. Uh, yeah, really really nice. I do like how this is. Uh, I do like how this has been done. Um, and I love the fact that the terrain kind of blocks out. You know, blocks out the lower bit of the park, so you can just sort of see the tops of the buildings, um, and it's uh, yeah, r really, really nice. Oh, there's a uh, there's a woman just uh, just stood there, um, and there's a barrier into uh, oh into a backstage area. Uh, uh, okay, um, abandoned plot lines. <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I love this. Uh, I love this little backstage here. This is very, very nice. Um, we have a nice, uh, nice few pieces in there. Portcullis. And right, we will head back through. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a pathway there. Where does that take you? Oh, I think that. Uh, I think that takes me through the uh, through to the main bit. So we'll go back through this tunnel. 
Um, and then we will go under the main archway into uh, into the park. I mean, look at that. That that logo is absolutely fantastic, the way that's been put together. Um, just, you know, that really does, really does just blow you away as you first come in. And I don't know whether you can see this, but that is a Ferris wheel going around it as well. I mean, that's straight away that if this doesn't tell you what's coming up in this park um nothing will because the sheer detail that is crammed into this this still here um is crazy that's that's just fantastic really really well done uh king's landing old town high garden casterly rock I'm sure these are these are locations that uh, that feature in the <laughs> in the series. Um, I love this like this is I love this like map here. This is uh, this is very clever, very nice use of the terrain tool. Um, I mean, one thing about the terrain tool is when you set up your own park, obviously you need to select um, you need to select all the, all the t uh, terrain types you want to use. Um, sometimes I've I've done it where I've been halfway through a park and you know, I've, I've thought, oh, you know, I really wanted to use th this train and I realised it's not on it and you can't add it. So, uh, to, you know, to have the foresight to know all all the different trains that um, that you want um, is, you know, is very, uh, very clever here. So, yeah, we will uh, we'll head in. Um, we'll head in down the left hand side. Through the portcullis. Some... There's a shop and some toilets. Oh, we got one of the pirate bands here. Are they going to perform or are they just going to sit there? I think they're just going to sit there. Ah, oh, no mind. Um, got an ATM. Love the music. The music's very nice. Uh, there's a shop in here. Here's this. Uh, here's the big Ferris wheel I mentioned. So if you go to the top of here. You can just see the top of the Game of Thrones logo. I'd, l I'd love to know how many pieces that is. That's that's the ride. I don't want to click on the ride. Is that it? No. Oh, I'm trying to try not to click on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> no. Oh, this is doing my head in now. I, I want to see how many pieces you've got in here. One thousand three hundred and forty-eight. Oh, my bad. That was the Ferris wheel. No, oops. I've, uh, I've, I've not really. I'm not really making a good job of this, am I? Um, yeah, one thousand three hundred forty-eight. Okay. And then get rid of that. I mean that that's that that's crazy. That that is a lot of uh, that's a lot of flame tools. Uh, so flame pieces. You've been. Uh, Placing down there, just one after the other like this. Click, 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 click. <laughs> but it looks really effective because when it's up close, obviously you can see the uh, you can see the pieces that are um, that are providing the flames. But from a distance, you can't, and it it really has a nice effect. So uh, yeah, really nice job there. Uh, go down to the bottom. Uh, right, what have we got here? Game of cones. <laughs> nice, nice. That's my that's my sort of pun. That is uh, shields, fifteen pounds. Lockers, five thousand pound per winter. <laughs> I like the I like how the lockers are barrels as well. That's uh, that's nice. The long night. Season eight is that is that is that a sign of saying season eight to get in the bin? Is that is that what that means? <laughs> uh, right, let's um, we'll go up here. This looks like the start of a queue line for something. Uh, around the bend, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right, we have a coaster. Uh, this is the long night, so we will uh, we'll hop on 
and hopefully we will uh, we'll get going shortly. Let's wait for the restraints to pop down. Any time today. Or we could be... There we go. Right. Enjoy the long night. Well, that was uh, that was a full-on experience coaster. That that takes you somewhere. Uh, that takes you on some journey. Um, as I say, you know, uh, I won't get a lot of the references. Uh, however, I, I assume these are like re recreating um, scenes from uh, from the Long Night. Um, you got all these uh, animatronics down here that uh, that we sort of flew over. Then um, you know, I mean, the 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 terrain work right down there. I'm just watching this coaster go around now. The work around there is really, really nice. I love, I love the different terrain, all the smoke effects as well. Um, yeah, really, really well done. Um, you know, and, and even, even for somebody who doesn't 100%, you know, get the uh, get the different references, it is, uh, you know, it's still an enjoyable coaster. Um, just watching this go around here. So we go, it goes up over the wall down here. So, that, oh, oh yeah, you know what? I didn't even spot that we went past a flat ride there. I didn't even spot that was there. Um, yeah, straight over through the castle. It's it really does blend in quite well, um, and you don't you, you really don't notice it that much. Um, uh, is that's very impressive to do that. Is um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Let's um, let's head out here. There we go. There's a shop there. On my photo, if you want to, if you want a photo. Uh, right, where are we heading now? Uh, I I don't want to miss anything out, so I know I came through here. So we'll go into the armory, I think. Knight King to E5. Raising Bran. Nearly Headless Ned. It, I mean, this is a really nice little shop. I, uh, I, I am, I am enjoying this sort of uh, this nice area. It's so well decorated. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna try and create a theme like this, um, you've got to go. You got to go at it, you know, with it, with everything, and um, Anthony's certainly done that with, uh, with, with, you know, with the detail in this. More shields on sale. Uh, right. I've got yeah. Come for the themes, stay for the memes. <laughs> so these are all different creators on um, on PlayStation. So you, you'll recognise some of these names around here. Really, uh, really nice little touch. Here of the where, Direwolf cocktail bar. I love that. That's that. That's really nice. I like the. Uh, I like. I like the taps there. Very nice. <laughs> uh, right. What else have we got round here? That's the exit to that ride. Uh, we've got the Drunken Dwarf Derby. 
drink driving encouraged? No, it isn't. <laughs> it, it might be on here, but it's not in real life. I do not condone it. Um, yeah, really, uh, really nice theme dodgems. This. That's. Uh, are those are these lights always in dodgems? Have I just? Hang on. I, have I just never noticed this? Or is that is that light always in the dodgems? This this thing. Is it? I don't know. I I honestly don't know. Um, I think it is. I've just never noticed that. Um, I thought that might have been custom built there. Uh, but yeah, no, very uh, very nice kind of tucked away dodgems. It's, dodgems look completely different when you put them inside a building. Um, it really changes the style of the ride. Uh, so yeah, very nicely done. Got a uh, got a nice little play park just here. Nice bell slide. I, I do I do love it when people spend time, kind of like custom building their own, you know, play areas. Because uh, I think it's, you know, I think it is a nice little uh, nice little addition to the park that, um, and people people always build their like a different style that they never look quite the same. Here's the uh, here's the flat ride that we saw. Very nice. I love the uh, I love the tree growing out the middle there. That looks very uh, that looks very very clever, and it really does theme that flat ride well. Right, let's. I, I, I hate I hate to think that I'm missing something. I mean, look how much there is to go in this park. It's enormous. <laughs> it's absolutely enormous. This park is. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm hopefully I'm not missing anything here. We will uh, we'll go down this way, over the drawbridge. Right, so we have the King's Road, the Erie Castle Black, the Wall, Easterly Rock Pyre, and the Twins. Uh, and we're going to go left first, and that looks very interesting. So, we will head over here through this little market town. Lots of uh, lots of music playing. It's really nice though. I love the uh, hot pies bakery. I love the use of the uh, the natural path. I think the natural path can sometimes be very uh, very underrated. It works really well in this part. I love the. I mean the. The use of the scenery and the um, what do they call them? It, is it the it's like it's like the atmosphere stuff, isn't it? Uh, special it's like the special effects, isn't it? The ambience and stuff. Um, those you know the use of those pieces in this park is genuinely very very good. It's you know it brings it all together really nicely. Uh, well, I guess while we're here, we should go up to the moon door. Which is a uh, well, it's an ascendance ride. It's straight up the top here. Oh, oh, there's a fight scene going on. Let's see what happens when this ride comes up. Are we going to see it? You know what? We're going to put the ride on test just so we see it. Let's have a look. I assume there's going to be some sort of. Some sort of uh, animatronic reaction going off. Ooh. It's slow. It's slowly coming up. Uh. Oh, the portcullis is open. Oh dear! Oh wow! I mean that—that's a very cool effect. I like that. That—that that works very well. That's impressive. It's a shame there's no guests on it. It's a shame that none of the guests want to uh, seem to want to ride it. But um, yeah, no, that—that's—that's that's really cool. I like that. Yeah, very cool. Uh, very cool effect at the top of there. I've not—I've not seen a—I've not seen a like a, a drop tower or or anything theme like that before. That's, that's very clever. 
What we got down here? Stuff only. I, I honestly, I love the scenery. It's so, it is so immersive. This is. It's brilliant. And just the sheer scale of it as well. Reeks first. Uh, the, there's there's a man hanging upside down with blood on the floor. Uh, <laughs> there's Reeks first if you want to buy one. I can hear people trapped and I don't know where they are. I don't. I can hear guests that are trapped, and I hope it's not an audio, but um, I hope it's not like an audio sound that is tricking me, but um, yeah, that's what I could hear. Got some uh, archery practice over there. Oh. <laughs> he keeps getting hit by it. Uh, right, what have we got in here? If you know more than snow, you'll find all the crows. Right. And now your watch begins. For the watch. Now your watch. Right, okay. And we'll get on the queue line. I mean, even, you know, even this queue line. I. I've kind of gone through that a little bit quickly, but even the queue line is all so... It's so well detailed. I love the fact it goes wide and thin as well, because that... You know, the, the it helps to bring in some of the scenery um, in different areas by changing the width of it. Uh, this is a very popular ride, looking at this. I've no idea where we're heading down here. Uh, right, so... No... Uh, I honestly thought the ride was called Janelle Carlisle then. <laughs> that was the guess, though. Uh, and now your watch begins, so uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, another fantastic um, experience coaster. Um, I think any, anybody anybody watching these and wanting to see a, a realistic coaster layout uh, probably isn't the park for that. Um, what this is is you know is a park of coasters that tells obviously stories and represent scenes. Uh, I love the scenery here. That is uh, that some build. Seven hundred and forty three stalagmites. <laughs> that is. Uh, that's mightily impressive. Um, yeah, that is uh, that's pretty uh, 
pretty time consuming to build that so uh, yeah massive respect there um but that uh, yeah the, the coaster itself very very nicely done um again tells a massive story the the layout is insane i i would i'd love to know what the what the sequencing is on uh, on the build for, the, for you know for these coasters in this park because i don't know whether the layout of the coaster would come first but then i'm thinking well surely it can't do because you'd have all the terrain to to adjust and you wouldn't know exactly where the different bits of terrain were so was it you know was the terrain made first um uh, I, I I genuinely don't know. I would um, yeah, I would really really like to know um, if you could let me know, Anthony, whether it was a case of build the coaster first or build the scenery uh, and the environment first, or or it might have been a bit of both. Um, but um, yeah, some fantastic work's gone into the. Um, I do <laughs> I do like I do like him on the back of the horse there, uh, and then obviously we've got the boat scene down here. I mean. Just the, the the level of detail to put the water effect in as well. I mean, the water takes up a huge amount of the park. At the back, just there. That's um, that that is honestly some uh, some build. I I, I genuinely am blown away by ha just the sheer scale of this park. Um, I don't think I will get over the uh, the scale of it. But um, but yeah, very very nice. This huge wall as well. Is that? Is this terrain? Is this terrain? You, or is it an actual? It is, isn't it? That that is just. It's just terrain work. I mean that, that's impressive in itself to build, to build uh, the terrain like that. Um, but yeah, really, really impressive stuff. Let's uh, let's head out the exit. And now your watch is ended. I love the fact you've continued to have shops throughout as well. Um, I think that's uh, it's nice that you've still put some shops in. Uh, but yeah, very uh, very impressive stuff. So uh, let's just uh, oh, I was going to zoom out there because I thought I'd uh, finish this area, but I haven't. We'll we'll come back out this way. So where the uh, where the bow and arrows are. Uh, uh, I I mean I I won't read that, but. Um, this is where I can hear the screaming. Is this an audio effect? Or is there genuinely people? Uh, it's bugging me. I can't see a speaker and I think it might be... I think it might be an audio... Th oh no, it's not! It's these guys. It's these guys. That, for some reason, they don't want to come up this path. But I thought I genuinely thought the screaming was uh, was part was part of the effect. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're we'll, uh, looking at the flat ride again. Nice, um, nice, nice use of the pieces there to make the scenery. What have we got here? We've got the dread fort in uh, flacation. So I think. Oh, is this? Uh, oh, this, this is actually, it's actually a hotel there. Fair enough. Uh, it's not my sort of hotel, but uh, it's for some people. The screaming really, uh, really is, really is creepy under there. I'm going to leave them alone because that's um, that's kind of uh, creeping me out a little bit now. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's a very impressive uh, corner of the park just there. And I'm just like you know when you look at the aerial shots as well. You know you 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 see the detail going into like the outside of these buildings that you don't necessarily get chance to appreciate when you're either looking on the ride or when you're looking around the park you know like for example the 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 path here you've got all the stairs going around the outside um the terrain work the trees all of that looks fantastic and then like over here you've got the curved you know, you've got the curved castle building here. But again, you don't really appreciate because you don't really need to go up this this section. Um, yeah, it is it genuinely, um, this is pro probably one of the most detailed parks I've ever seen. 
Uh, I can't believe how much you managed to get into this park and uh, I still have only seen sort of a half of it. <laughs> uh, so we will head um, we'll head down this way now I think. Uh, I'm, let me get my bearings. Go down here. Here we go. Right. That's uh, right. So that, that was the moon door. Uh, there's the water effects we saw earlier. That's the market we saw earlier. Box office. Touring the King's Road. Playing classics such as. I see. <laughs> I see ice and fire, and what do I know? Nothing, obviously. <laughs> what? Play that same song. <laughs> Why am I at an Ed Sheeran concert? Oh, of course, Ed Sheeran. Yeah, Ed Sheeran features in one of the episodes, doesn't he? That's why, that's why you've got Ed Sheeran here. Um, yeah. Okay, very, very nice. Um, although I would probably rather listen to uh, the Barbershop Quartet because nothing beats these guys. The best... Ju just the best animatronics in the game, these are. Fantastic. Um, right. So, we'll head around this way. Uh, and we'll head into the castle. The twins wedding venue. Okay. Let's go straight in. Oh, oh, uh, well. There's a fight. There's a fight going on. And this... And there's some dancers. Here we go. The animatronics are moving in here. These, these pirate guys are brilliant. Um, right, where do we go through here? There's Casterly Rock. I, I, genuinely, how, how is this all in the same park? Especially when you consider the build limit that, you know, that Planet Coaster console has. I honestly don't get how you've got all this in the same park. Um, we'll go through here. That's a nice castle. Would be a shame if it melted. Um, okay. Is it going to melt? I don't know. I don't know if it is going to melt. We shall see. Um, lots of uh, lots of food shops and food and drink shops around here. But I mean, you know, again. You know, again, the, the scenery is uh, is so nicely done. All, all the different pieces that that have been used in this park, um, you know, really does really does sort of blow you away. You know, I mean, the views of the uh, the views of the water coaster here are very nice. That that's a fantastic viewpoint. Just the water coaster and the uh, and the castle in the background. That looks stunning. It really, really does. I, I assume the water coaster is called Black Water. So we will uh, we'll go on Black Water. There's a very busy queue line for it, and it goes out here, goes down, onto the station, and we'll go and ride it. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Uh, there we go. We're going to seat two this time. Let's speed it up till we go, and. Here we are, so enjoy black water.
Brilliant. Again, you know, the the scenery and the theming to these rides is uh, is just incredible. Um, the effort that has gone into this is, uh, you know, is absolutely crazy. I think is that a functioning path as well? Dance of Dragons. Oh, it is. That's genuinely, uh, genuinely a ride that just you know you just keep finding like small bits there it is crazy how this park's been built you know i am in absolute just awe of how this has been done even the fireworks going off just here all the flames it is uh yeah just so so impressive it, it you know it, it is a proper experience uh experience park I would call it you know it really um, is really all about the scenery and um, it's not about realism this one um, but it's uh, yeah no it is it's genuinely superb um, and it's quite enough I mean on its own even without the Game of Thrones scenery um, that was an impressive well uh, you know water coaster water coasters I always say are very tricky to do um, they require the right balance of of water and coaster um to get right and uh, that certainly did have that but you know even again like ooh, under the water there even from down here just look how much work's gone into this surrounding area just from down here it's staggering it really is staggering the uh, you know the the effort and the build that has gone into this park I, I'm not surprised it's at 100% on a PS5. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Right, we will head off of there. Uh, presumably walk around this way. The, these guys appear stuck, but they can stay there. Tough luck. Tickets. Uh, um, okay, tickets for a bell tower. Um... Right, I don't think there's anything more around here because we went, we had a look at the uh, at the flat ride up there. I mean, you know, the the dragon there. Obviously, Game of Thrones is all about the dragons. But even even just putting this little flat ride there, genuinely, I, if I hadn't have quickly looked at that tower and seen the start of a queue line, I wouldn't have known that was there. It, it's it's one of those parks where there's. There's something hidden behind every single corner. Uh, right, so from here, we'll go back through here and carry on round. Uh, there's got some vending machines. Keep going around here. There's a nice looking coaster to the right hand side. A nice little flat ride just there. Very busy. Where's everyone heading to right here? Why is this path so busy? There's... Oh, and, and there's a track right here. There's still there's still plenty to come. This is this is crazy. This is an absolutely ridiculous level of detail. Honestly, the, it, it looks fantastic, you know. Um, and as I said at the start, I, I can only apologise that I, I won't get 100% of the references. But on it on its own, without getting the references, this park is blowing me away. Um, so, uh, yeah, really, really enjoying it so far. Let's, um, let's get to the front of the queue, which is that one. Uh, we'll go in seat two, and off we go.
what a ride again i mean the again the you know the detail the scene telling the storytelling um it is so so well done uh really nice use of the animatronics there and the ride goes so far as well again it's the you know this sort of ride makes me think was was it a case of building the layout and then building everything around or was the scenery and the buildings here first i i genuinely don't know and it's um you know it is it, it's so so well done um all these uh, all these different all these different animatronics the uh, the buildings to surround it very very nice um i love the uh, i love the final room which when we get to it uh where was it was it in here oh, i was in this bit wasn't it yeah this final room here was excellent i love the way the uh the ride goes around the circle there uh it goes around in the loop very very nicely done um just yeah all all around fantastic fantastic ride um i mean look at the scale of that of that building in the middle as well i love it it is so so nice Where's, I mean, I, I don't even know where that queue line's going. There is so much, so much to see in this uh, in this park. Right, I need to go back to where I was. Line in the roads. What? I've not seen this bit yet. Ah, I'm lost. Let's um, let's go back up. Right. So, to get over there, we we followed that. There we are. We followed the really busy path down here and into there. So if we go down this section, then we get to the line and the rows, which is a teacups ride with one of these dudes dancing around. Oh, no, a couple of these dudes dancing around. And then if we head back over here and go through the middle. Oh, there's the... Uh, <laughs> There's the film crew filming the actual throne. That's that's nice. That is a that's a very, very nice piece he built there. I do uh, I do rate that. I like I like to see how many pieces things are because it's um, some are more complicated than you think, and then some are easier to build than you think. So we head down here. The fall of House Lannister. Uh, Ah, okay, so this is, uh, I'm, yeah, I know what sort of ride this is, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, it's a Horror Heights ride, that's it. So, we'll hop on there. And, uh, you, you don't, you don't see many of these rides in, um, we don't row three, I want seat three. You don't see many of these rides in, uh, in park spotlights because they're very, they're very specific, uh, into what they can be used for. Uh, they have to be the right sort of story. Um, to be used I have put it on fast forward I think to try and get people on the ride if we hurry up there we go everybody's getting on um, so yeah we will uh, we'll see what the fall of House Lannister has in, in store for us
Well, that was a very uh, that was a very tragic end to the uh, to the love story there. Um, yeah, very uh, very very nice ride. I love uh, I love these rides. This is obviously based on the Tower of Terror um, at Disney, um, and uh, yeah, as I say, very rare to see one of these in uh, in one of these spotlight videos. So you can just see the framework of the ride just here. Um, so yeah, it's very nice to actually see this uh, see this up and functioning. To be fair. So yeah, fantastic job and fits very nicely in that castle. No idea that that was inside. Um, really, really nice that. So we'll head back out here. Presumably that's the exit and you come out. Uh, this queue line, is that? Ah, okay, so that's the queue line for, for the track ride that we went on. So if I zoom back out again. Right, where have I been? Where have I not been? This is getting out of hand now. I, I can't even fit this park into like one, one like screen. It's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but we will head, we'll head on down here, underneath, and round. Oh, not in there. Round. Anything around this way? Uh, 18 plus, not safe for work. Right, well, uh, you have been warned. Um, PG uh, parental guidance is, uh, is, is required here. Um, right, okay. Uh, <laughs> Do I want to know? No, no. Okay, that was that that was a pleasant surprise. Um that's uh yep, that's certainly uh not safe for work. Um interesting design on uh on some of the statues. <laughs> I I'm gonna leave that there. Uh <laughs> just but out of everything, I, I know I know that Game of Thrones is uh, is quite well known for that sort of stuff. Um just wasn't expecting to see that in Planet Coaster. Um, nice addition though anyway right so we have the gold road which is uh, built between some hedges here and the gold road is a coaster so I'll bring the uh, bring the next train in if it uh, wants to come in anytime soon Uh, it's it's a it's a long ride, and it oh, it's a flying ride as well. It's a long ride, I know that. Right, we'll hop on seat number two. Fast forward. Let's get the guests off. Get the next ones on. Now, and off we go down the gold road. Wow! Uh, again, another another great experience coaster. Um, that that's the steepest lift hill for a flying coaster I've seen. Um, but uh, no, fantastic ride. Really, um, really like that. Really like the um, 
I mean, the angle of that bend there was uh, was quite a drop. I'd love to experience that in real life. Um, but yeah, as you, uh, I mean, look at look at the journey that that takes you on there. That is uh, that is something. What does that say here? I can't read because of the sunlight. Park of the year, hopes and dreams. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, is it, does that mean that was made by Albris, or is that the name of that dragon? I don't know. I don't know. This is where my Game of Thrones knowledge is uh, is limited. Um, but yeah, no, fantastic, um, fantastic coast of that. Really, uh, really nice, um, really nice sort of story storytelling. Lots of scenery again, as we've come to expect in this park. It's it is genuinely just like mind blowing. What what has been achieved here it's uh it, re it really is the you know because it, obviously when you're getting close to the build limit you want to be careful but everything is everything's been done sort of equally throughout um throughout the park there's no area that's more detailed than the other i didn't even see that truck moving there what is that truck moving a, an animatronic i didn't know that a wagon roll, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, see, even even a couple of years after using this game, I'm still finding pieces that I didn't know existed. Um, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, let's um, let's have another look around here. So, I mean, again, we've got another huge building here. You know, loads of uh, loads of detail on it, and it's um, yeah, I. I'm I'm starting to repeat myself now because of how just how impressive it is because it's the same same things that impress me all throughout the park. Uh, I'm trying to find the exit here. There we go. Uh, oh no! Uh, exit through here. Nope, that's the back of the queue. I think this is the exit. Is it? Yes, that's the exit. Uh, right, let's head down here. I don't know how much left there is. Uh, we'll zoom out in a moment. So, we get down to here, which is Casterly Rock. And there is a uh, there's a dance floor looking uh, thing. Casterly Rock. Oh, is it literally Casterly Rock, as in if you're buying Rock the Confectionery. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, this is crazy. Have we... Have we even been down there yet? We haven't, have we? We've not been down there. My bad. I uh, I started to go back there. Um, right, let's carry on down this bit then. Um, some backstage areas just here. Some bins and trucks. Sand Snake Skelter. Oh, I like that. I like that. I I I think I am trying to rack my brains because I've I've done over two years of these spotlights. I'm trying to rack my brains to think if I've ever seen a uh, a Helter Skelter built on console, and I don't think I have. I think that is the first Helter Skelter. Um, which to be fair, like why why is a Helter Skelter not in the game? I you know a Helter Skelter is a great ride. Um, but yeah, very very nice. I really like that. That's uh, it's a very nice piece. That's... Oh, and then you've got one of these uh, one of these disco uh, magic carpet rides. Nice. It kind of sits in the middle. Again, that's so well hidden. When I when I zoomed out earlier, I just looked at that and just saw a building there. You have no idea that such a big ride is you know he's been themed. And wrapped around that, it's um, you know, it really is just staggering the uh, the level of uh, of detail and theming and and how much how much of the rides that are sort of hidden um, and sort of absorbed by the scenery. It's uh, yeah, very very impressive. So back to Casterly Rock, uh, back through here. Oh, this is back to the twins' wedding venue, where there's a fight going off again. Right, so if I just zoom out here, I think, 
I think that's everything. Um, just having a quick scan. Yep, I think I've. Uh, I think that's everything. And the fact that I'm struggling to fit this entire map into uh, into one shot is uh, is just testament to how how much detail is in this. I want to scan the entire park and see how many scenery pieces there are. You can see the you can see the game lagging a little bit just because there's that many. <laughs> let's uh, let's push it and try and see if it can uh, pick everything up. More down here. I think this is most things. So you're talking. 47 and a half thousand pieces give or take some more there oh that's that's ridiculous that is genuinely ridiculous um i i have absolutely nothing but good things to say about that you know if you're a game of thrones fan i'm sure you'll love that even more than me um but that is one of the most detailed, one of the most impressive builds I've uh, I've looked at on uh, on my channel. Um, this is it. If you go to night time, and again, I mean, just looking at that at night time is is just so so nice. It's yeah, honestly, the, all the lights to go in there on, on top of everything else to think to light everything up like that. It's. Yeah, that is honestly superb. It really, really is one of my favourite parks that I've looked at. Um, so thank you for thank you for putting that on the on the Discord, Anthony. I am I'm so glad I uh, I got a chance to look at that. Um, I can't imagine how long that took you to build. Um, that would that would terrify me to uh, to try and think how long that took. Um, but yeah, such such a good park. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of the park. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are new. Um, and yeah, head over to the Discord if you'd like me to check out one of your own creations. Uh, other than that, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.